The big headline going into 2018, this regular season opening today, is Jordan Morris. It is as much a mental thing coming back from injuries like that as it is physical. Jordan is more than capable of coming back from this, and now the, the grind starts. But it's not a setback that he can't overcome. Morris will return. He will be stronger for the experience. Don arriving, through again for Morris, Morris trying to chip the keeper, it's snapped down by Almeida and Morris is down, having taken contact at the end from Dominguez as he released the shot. Jordan Morris is down with Dominguez checking in on him. So I remember it pretty, pretty clearly, I think Nico played a ball into Will and he kind of flicked it in behind for me and I was running in on the goalie and um, goalie was coming out and I tried to chip it over him, get under it and chip it over him and it wasn't the nicest turf in the world and down you know in El Salvador and I think my foot kind of got caught or I landed funky and um, I knew right away something wasn't right because I don't remember there being a super intense amount of pain. I think I went into kind of shock almost but I knew I felt a pop and I knew what that meant having a dad that's talks about it all the time. That's his, you know, area of study. And, you know, they told me when I came off to the sideline, my dad took me to the locker room and, and had to tell me, and it was pretty devastating. His dad, Michael, is the athletic trainer for this Seattle side. You know, I knew something was going on because he had his hand up in the air and was waving it. And I got out in the field, and Chris said he heard a pop uh, in his knee and that's a bad, that's not a good sign. So we found pretty quickly I could do a test there right, right, once we got him off the field and I realized he had an ACL tear. Uh, well, then I became a dad. Yeah, I did put a different hat on than the doctor hat and put my hand, arm around him and just sat there with him, you know. Wasn't, wasn't much I could say. It's an interesting dynamic having my dad as the, the team doctor because I almost felt bad for him, but he had to be the one to, to tell me because as a parent, I mean, I'm not a parent, but I can imagine that feeling telling your kid that, that they tore their ACL and that, that they're out for the season. So that was tough. And then I remember the team coming back in the locker room and some of the guys coming up and saying things to me. And I was just sitting there crying because I, you know, it's, I knew how long it was going to be and how tough of a process it was, it was going to be. But I remember Gustav came over, said he had gone through it before and that you know, I'd get through it and to have those people that had been through it before. But a lot of my teammates came over and, and comforted me and that was nice. Well, I was really disappointed for him because I knew what it meant. You know, it meant a year probably of rehab and recovery. And then Jordan had a lot of goals for that year. Um, he'd been a little frustrated with his year before um, and, and had just gotten out of national team camp where things had gone quite well. You know, I was disappointed he wasn't going to be able to see that through. Going back through last season, I know how long the seasons are when you're going through them. And so when you're sitting on the sideline, they're going to be even longer and just wishing you were out there playing. I just, I knew that feeling was going to be really, really tough. And I know myself personally, I don't do well sitting on the sideline. I want to always be out there playing. and. I'm a competitive person, so I want to be out there, help my team win, scoring goals, and, and just playing the game that I love to play. 